Hello everyone, welcome yet again to another new video from Arizona. As you can tell from my background, I am still not back home, but it was the perfect opportunity to film another Pochette Matisse video for you guys. I know how much you all love those videos. This bag is still like such a coveted bag from Louis Vuitton. So today's video will be about Louis Vuitton. If you're new here, my name's Linda. I do post about fashion. If you're into that sort of thing, please do consider subscribing so we can be friends. If you're not new here, then welcome back. I don't know why I couldn't think of the words. But anyway, so yes, let's get straight into today's video. So today's video isn't just about one, but it's about two. So I have my pochette Matisse, which this one is in the emprunt leather. So emprunt is, um, it comes in a few different colors. I got the marine rouge. So it's this nice blue color with red piping. And then my mother got the same exact bag, but in the monogram. So this might be the first time you see this video. I did film one last year comparing the two, but now that another year has passed, I wanted to update you on the wear and tear. So my bag is five years old. My mom's is three years old. And I'll be honest, they're both holding up very, very well. I bought my bag in the US and my mom bought her bag in France. And honestly, as much as I would love for all my bags to be made in France, I knew that this bag was just so hard to come across. So when I found it, I was in the Miami boutique and I hesitated. I didn't buy it on the spot. And then when I finally decided this was the bag for me, it was too late. That bag sold so fast. I had no idea how much this bag was wanted. It was the first time I saw it, first time I heard of it. And so when I tried to buy it, it was gone. I ended up calling Louie and they had to send me one. The only one in the U.S. was in Texas and I was so happy when I got it. And then my mom loved it. So she was like, you know, next time we travel, like we have to get this bag for me. And she knew that she wanted it in canvas and she really liked the monogram. I know they also have it in the reverse monogram, but she was really pretty set on getting this one. I've got to say, after five years, I still love this bag so much. I still get so much use out of it. It is one of two bags that I brought on this trip. So, I mean, I knew I couldn't bring too many and it was just, I find this bag so cute and so versatile. It's casual. It's got this long strap so you can wear it like a cross body, of course, depending on your height. And um, also you can just take it off. It's super easy to take off the clips, as you can see right there. And it has, in case you're new to this bag, it has this back zipper. And I'll show you, it's still pretty easy to, to move. It's like sturdy too, like it's not like some flimsy little zipper like you can see there. And it's got that red interior, which I think is just so beautiful. I have mine decorated with this Tiffany's Twilly. Super, super cute. I just thought it complimented. And I've honestly, since I put that Twilly on this, I've never taken it off. It has that nice gold hardware, you just press it and it opens up pretty easily as you sided that with one hand. On the inside it just has three compartments. The first one's this plain old compartment, the middle one's the biggest one, and then this back one is a little bit thinner, but they all fit quite a lot. I have my wallet in this middle one. Today I'm wearing my Gucci Blooms one. You can see there. I felt like this one complemented it a lot, like even though they're different brands, one's Gucci, one's Louis, this one I just thought was so cute to go along with it because it's red and blue just like that and it has like the bill spot and everything and it fits perfectly in there. I also have my uh, chapstick from Glow Recipe, some band-aids and <laughs> whatnot, and I'll show you my phone. I have the iPhone. It's um, not the maxi but the one just under that which is about the size of the plus. Um, so that fits in any of these. It fits in that like front one, the back one, and the zipper compartment as well. And it zips shut with no problems. You can kind of just see the outline of it a little bit because I have just the bobble on the back. This thing in my bobber, but if it didn't have it, I don't think you could really tell that there's a phone in there. And as you can see, it, it fits quite a bit, 
even though it's not like the biggest bag i've always loved just the whole design of this bag um after five years i still don't really see much wear and i don't really baby my bags i mean i don't go like carelessly like knocking them down or anything like that but i don't really baby them and i think that it's held up so good i had kept the protective sticker on there for so long and then i heard that sometimes if you leave that on there it can cause it can like leave residue on there that doesn't come off that freaked me out and i finally took the protective sticker off of it and honestly the hardware still doesn't look scratched up i love that about this bag and then if you look at my mom's, she had sprayed her Vachetta with that apple spray that we saw in another video. And honestly, the Vachetta looks so intact, like as you can see. And then her zipper, oh, hers was caught on that. Also just as easy. And I would say hers actually looks a little more, like you see that, like it has, um, I mean, with like that. Like, doesn't it look like it's, like, protruding a little bit in some spots? Like, I don't think it's, like, a defect or anything, but, like, you can... I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I'm just going crazy, but, like, mine is it? Yeah, mine's, like, so straight. Hers, it looks like it's, like, protruding a little bit or something. I don't know. Is that normal? Any of you that have the post shot Matisse, let me know. Like, doesn't it look like it's just kind of coming out a little bit? It's odd. And then she bought this Twilly for it on Amazon, I believe. And same like mine, but hers, the interior is brown. It's like a suede-like material. And she has the strap in one of these little baggies. That's a good idea, actually, to keep it like in place. And I would say the inside of hers is also pretty intact. I don't really see much wear. I'll be honest, I actually, hers, looks more used than mine even though it doesn't have like very obvious signs of wear but like i don't know if you can see like a little bit of indentation which is totally natural because it's from um i guess where the top handle goes but other than that i mean i still think this bag is stunning and then here you see there's more of a shut up And I'll show them two side by side. I'll take the strap off of this one to have them more of, on an even keel. Whoops. And close it. So you can see. And then, I mean, this bag is just so fashionable. I see this one a lot at the airport. This one, the Marine Rouge, I actually haven't seen. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone else with it, to be honest. My cousin did get it in the black, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. I just wanted that like little pop of color. And I feel like it's subtle enough where it's not too noticeable, but I've said this before, I do want the monogram one as well. I think this type of bag is just so cute so versatile like a very like day and night type of bag like maybe not as small as like a clutch for like an evening night out but if you're just going somewhere for dinner like after work or something i feel like this one is still like very nice nice enough and if you take the strap off and just hold it like this like it's not that as casual so i think it's like still a really good bag this one is of course more casual since it's monogram but i just i think it's so pretty i think if you're wearing like jeans t-shirt and then this bag just looks so so very pretty with it and yeah i mean i think that's all there is to say about it it's been holding up very well people had said that the empreinte was going to get all weird and mushy i have yet to have that issue after five years um no i mean to be honest i don't think either one of them is really showing much signs of wear oh let me show you the bottoms there's nothing on the bottom like no little feet or anything and even despite that i don't see like any stains or marks or anything at all on it and like i said they they both can pack all my daily essentials anyway 
But if you have any specific questions about either bag, do let me know and I'll be sure to answer them in the comments below. If you like the video, do give it a like and I'll catch you all for the next video. Bye everyone! So now we're in a new place. We're in Flagstaff and this is the little rental. It comes with your own Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Not for free though. <laughs> A nice, fun kind of way of camping. Glamping. And then uh, my mom set up this nice little seating area for Rachel and I for when we eat. Might be a little smaller than uh, we're used to. It's actually pretty cute. This is the other room. And then there's more, room mo ugh, more rooms downstairs. But yeah, so this is where I'm filming from now. And I'll show you more. We'll probably go like hiking and stuff tomorrow. Nice.